You're listening to The Sizzle on Iron Skillet Radio and Iron Skillet Television. You know who it is. You know what it is. It's The Sizzle here on Iron Skillet Radio, Iron Skillet Television. Jay, we've got to talk about this real quick. We've got to talk about maybe the best thing Ryan Pace has ever done. Left? He left Chicago? When did he he leave out? They have a a Greyhound going to uh, Moscow. That would be fabulous. It might take you 17 uh, days to get there, but you know, that'd no, be great. No, 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 no. Oh. The Bears, they signed. Are you ready for this? Go ahead. They signed Jeremy Achua. The Jeremy Jeremiah Achua? Achua. 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 Okay. To okay. your deal. Five and a half million dollars. Jeremiah Chua, two year yeah. deal. Yeah. Five and a half million. Why is this the greatest thing, Jay? Because this is the only cost cutting move <laughs> that <laughs> Ryan Pace has made in his tenure. Now, let's do a juxtaposition and let's let's compare. Let's wow. do some compare and contrast. I don't know, I don't know if I stopped juxtaposition because I heard my back last time I did that. Yeah, well, sometimes it can get tricky. It yeah. can get tricky. You gotta yeah. put the foot up and then put the other leg down. Then, then that's gonna happen. Yep. So you got Leonard Floyd, who oh. just signed a, a multi-year contract. Did you see that? Five billion dollars. What? Sixty-four million dollars, my friend. But to his credit, you're talking about someone in one Ooh. year they got almost ten sacks. Because he has some help on the other side, but the issue is oh. he's still Leonard Floyd. Oh, so he had help on the other side, but. Guess who didn't sign him to a max deal like that? And that would be Ryan Pace. Oh, best thing you ever did. Because that that this is going to blow up in the Rams' face soon as – look, I don't care if he got 10 sacks. It doesn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. He, him against the run, it's still going to be problems. Still mm-hmm. going to be problems. You can run – y'all paid $64 million, $64 million for Leonard Floyd. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm happy for Leonard Floyd, but I still right, can't believe right. it. God bless him. But you know, with Jerry, J. Chu, that's what I'm going to call him now. I'm gonna J. Call him J. J. Chu. J. Yeah. J. Chu. Yeah, I like him. He actually looks like a linebacker. He actually looks like a hand. He looks he's like up, somebody. He's an upgrade. He's an upgrade. He's an upgrade. And this, look, they're losing Bartavius Mingo, right? I like Bartavius Mingo. I liked him too, but this guy's an upgrade. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, all right, this guy, he he, he can play. He, he's better. I have to, he's better than Leonard Floyd to me. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he can play. This is an upgrade for them. And so I I I'm, I'm I actually like this signing right here. You know, um, mm-hmm. I'm just like I said, I'm glad they didn't give sixty more four million dollars for Leonard Floyd. Right, I'm glad they didn't like, do that. Take that, my wallet, please. Oh my goodness, but uh, yeah, it just you know it's amazing. But they're making this big money. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I should have hit, yeah. hit the cough button on that one. That's my fault. Well, it's okay. Sometimes you have to cough it up just to understand that this has all been phlegm. This is, we've been flim flam, my friend. We have been flimmed and flammed by, and I figured it out. I did. I figured it out with Ryan Pace. What is it? It is not Ryan Pace's fault. And we've said this before. We've said it in multiple shows. It is that the Bears like what they see. Ryan Pace gives that nice illusion of inclusion. Absolutely here. correct. He Absolutely gives correct. that good, uh, what we call it in baseball. He gives you that that Ivy League look. Absolutely, that, that's what they want. They, they they want they want that guy who came from the little secret societies and and, mm-hmm. and you know the hair. You know those guys that part the hair over here and it comes over here. You know those guys. They want mm-hmm. one of those guys, and that's yeah. what they got. Instead of having the scruffy beard guy out there who actually knows what's going on with football, because mm-hmm. he lives, breathes, and that football is not his profession, it's his life. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, right. this is what you need a lifer in here. This is what this is what he would if if he made no money in football, he still he'd would still be, do it. He'd still do it. Mm-hmm. That's the guy you gotta have. Uh, at the brain trust. Now, is this a good signing for them? Yeah, of course it is a good signing for them. I, is there any way going to help them compete in the uh, in the in, in the NFC? No, you know why it's not going to help them compete in the NFC 
because Tampa Bay signed every one of their starters back. Every one of them. Every guy that started in the Super Bowl is back. You know the sad part for Bears fans, and this is not for the Bears brain trust, but for Bears fans, they're actually being duped into believing that because you beat Tampa Bay, because you were able to get into the playoffs with an extended playoff schedule, and because now somehow getting rid of Mitchell Trubisky just kind of eases everything, you still just went out and signed Andy Dalton. You signed the same quarterback that you still have sitting there. Or ten? No, you slot. You signed a slower version of the quarterback that you got. Look, what are they going to do? So Nick Foles is going to make twice the money that Andy Dalton's making, but he's going to be backing up, right? And now you can't even. Let's say you want to send him to Philly. You know, Jalen Bruh might need somebody to help him out. Maybe you can't do that now because now they've already picked up a Super Bowl winning quarterback. So so what? So now we so now we got Andy Dalton and and uh, and, and and Nick Foles. That's our that's our quarterback tandem. Dude, it it's been the same court outside of Mitchell Trubisky. Ryan Pace has brought in the same type of quarterback each time. The only one that was a little variant of it was Chase Daniels, and that's because he looked more like Mitchell Trubisky. Wow! But they've all been these tall, angular quarterbacks who are slow afoot, can't get out the pocket, maybe can read a defense, but aren't going to have enough time to get it out. So you need a Mitchell Trubisky who can run at least for his life. At least at some point he can escape and get away from you. But no, you said, no, 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 no. We don't need just, uh, 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 we don't need the boy in Carolina. No, we don't need him. We don't need the young man in, 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 in New Orleans, because famous Jameis ain't that famous. No, look, I don't need look, him just because he can escape and throw maybe 30 and 30. No, I don't need that. Look, they should have went and got Jameis Winston. I said it before. Jameis, 30 for 30. Yes, that is absolutely true. But he threw 30 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. When was the last bear? That threw 30 touchdowns. I'm saying, I, I couldn't tell you when the last one it was. So mm-hmm. you got to at least get oh, somebody who can throw it. And Jameis, isn't he in a special club? Isn't he one of those guys that, like, one of the very few in the NFL histories that's thrown for like 5,000 yards? Yeah. This is a guy who mm-hmm. can throw the football, all right? Who can read defenses and throw the football. He just, you know, he just puts the ball in places. He has a discipline in himself not to throw the ball in double or triple coverage. And you know the reason why that is? Is because he has a Bobby Douglas type of arm where he could just throw the ball through people and he thinks he could fit it in the windows. If Jameis ever figures out that, you know what, I probably shouldn't be throwing into that double coverage, I could squeeze it in there. If he stops trying to squeeze balls in and just throws the throws because he can make every NFL throw, Jameis Winston would be a top flight quarterback. He just won't discipline himself not to make those throws. So let me get this straight. You brought in a slow footed, older Andy Dalton. Yeah. And you let the person you traded up for, that you traded capital, future capital away from. Yeah. You let him go and he took a pay cut to go to Buffalo at two something under $3 million. So again, we talked about this beforehand. I was all ready to run Mitchell Trubisky back. Because to me, unless you landed one of these top flight guys, and you couldn't land one of the top flight guys because they don't want to come here. Get that understood. They're not a coming. So now you have, for lack of a better word, hamstrung your own self. Mm Mm-hmm. And you went out and paid ten million dollars for Andy Dalton, and you got twenty million dollars sitting on the bench. Twenty million to sit on the bench that you traded cap. You, you traded draft capital for. So you got thirty million dollars worth of quarterback back there, and you could have paid Jameis. You could have got for five million. There's a number of guys you could have got that you should have ran up in here that I've been far more happier with 
even though with Jameis, is he going to lead you to the promised land? No, but the Bears ain't going there anyway. Mm, okay. I think that I think we're going to end it there because that, my friend, I think that is there is the there's the rub. Are the Bears with any of the moves they make? Are they any closer to a championship? Bottom feeding. Bottom feeding. Dun, 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 dun. They're bottom feeding. The Bears have I look, I, I just put it out a few days back. Monsters no more. There nobody fears the Chicago Bears anymore because they can't score and they don't have a defense that can dominate. Not anymore. You just got rid of your best corner you got. You, you, you got Akeem Hicks is going to be playing on a, hmm, might be, ooh, feeling hammy tighten it up. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to play through that elbow pain like I played through last time when I soldiered on for you because you didn't show me the love. You told me to go, you told me, pack your bags and move out the house. We really don't want you. Oh, I can't find nobody else. Come on and stay. <laughs> you, you told me to move out. Told me you, you, you was going to find somebody new. You didn't need me no more. That's what mm -hmm. you did to Akeem Hicks. So how loyal am I going to be to you now? I'm going to sit up here and suck up your air conditioning and watch your cable. That's what's about to happen right now. Mm, you know what? It sounds like a bad commercial. But I know what is a good commercial is that if you have not subscribed, liked, and shared the sizzle, then therefore you have done a terrible disservice to your country and wow. to your family. Wow. You have you have been a traitor. You're traitorous. <laughs> and you should be, you should be held in some type of concentration camp wow. for me to always click on the sizzle, subscribe, like, and share it with others that you love because that is being a patriot. Please send all your letters and comments to info at ironskillersports.com in care of Jesus. Uh, Thank you. Well, man. <laughs> you know what it is. You know who it is. It's the sizzle here on Iron Skillet Radio, Iron Skillet Television. He's Jay Sizzle. I'm G Sizzle. And we will see you on the other side.